if you could choose the music at your memorial or funeral, what would it be? Um, I think it would be... I think there's one piece that I think is just so achingly beautiful, um, and yet sort of full of pathos, would be um, Versa Est in Luctum by Padilla, um, which is recorded on um, our Spanish music album. And that is just an incredible piece of music. And I think um, it it probably would. The, I, the trouble is, I know that if I went to someone else's funeral and that was sung at the funeral, I would be in floods of tears. So maybe it's the wrong piece because I don't want people to be in floods of tears. I want them to smile. Um, so or maybe always look on the bright side of life from Monty Python's Life of Brian. <laughs> Well, first of all, the uh, music for my funeral, I hope that's not for a very long time to come yet, because there's lots of things I'd like to do with my life still, and many things I'd like to achieve, but if I were given the luxury of choosing any music for my funeral, or any music for my memorial, whoever happened to be organising it, it would cost them an awful lot of money, because I'd like them to bring Jamie Mitchell along, and a full symphony orchestra to play one of my absolute favourite songs of all time, which is both sides now. It's a truly beautiful piece of music, whether you listen to the original acoustic version or whether you listen to the version which is uh, orchestrated, which moves me to tears every time. If I had to choose the music for my funeral, I think I would choose Dies Natalis by Gerald Finzi. It's a wonderful piece for tenor and um, string, sh small string orchestra, uh, two words by Thomas Traherne. And it celebrates um, from the eyes of a baby his or her birth. Uh, it's an extraordinary piece of music, and um, I think I would have that at my funeral. Music for my funeral. Well, um, if I were to go for a very uh, self-indulgent um, Catholic style requiem. I probably have um, the requiem written by Jean Richefort, who's a Flemish Renaissance composer. It's a composer, it's an incredible piece, um, and something I listen to quite a lot. Anyway, um, but um, I suppose you know I wouldn't want people to be too sad, so I'd probably ask for uh, if you're happy, you know, clap your hands as well. At my memorial service, I would really, really like the. Um song Danny Boy. Um, it's a very, 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 obviously, very, very sad song, but it has such beautiful words in the context of the piece. That would be the one that I'd really like people to be singing when I finally go. Well, quite a dark question. What would one have at one's funeral stroke memorial service? I think I said before, one of the, my favourite pieces of all time is Mozart's Requiem. I, I think it might be a little bit grand to, <laughs> to write that into my will. That I've got to have a symphony orchestra or a chamber orchestra, a choir and so on, is to perform that. Um, that would be nice if somebody did that um, on my behalf. Um, I think um, there are some wonderful uh, settings of the burial sentences by Croft. Absolutely fantastic. And um, I would... Um, I love singing them, and, and I, I would be wonderful if, uh, if, if, from the other side, I could hear people singing them to send me on my way. That would be, that would be wonderful, yes. Um, if you haven't heard them, they are very, very moving. And we've sung them in some lovely concerts in churches where we process around the outside uh, aisles of big, large cathedrals with candles while, sing, while singing these. Um, wonderful. Um, 